welcome to Excel 2010 statistics video number 63. If you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 6.xlsm, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, the last video for Chapter 6, we're going to talk about the exponential distribution, a continuous distribution with a continuous random variable. Now let's go over to our PDFs so I can find them. Exponential probability distribution kind of looks like this. Useful in computing probabilities for the time it takes to complete a tax, task or the distance between similar occurrences. So time between arrivals at a car wash. Time to take a test. Uh, one not listed here. Um, time uh, between arrivals at a website. Uh, there's some good homework problems on website or time arrivals. Uh, distance between potholes in the row, road. Now, we're going to have the same two types of function, a density or mass function that determines the height of the curve and our cumulative. Now, here's the formula, 1 minus e, and there's a way to get e in Excel using the exponent function, minus our particular x divided by our mu. There's also an expone dot dist function. That's a new dot in all of the 2010 functions. We'll give it our particular x and lambda, which will be 1 divided by mu, and cumulative. Same thing as before. 1 gets cumulative from 0 to x, and uh, false gets the height. Again, it's a continuous random variable probability distribution. All right, let's go over to our Excel. So if you're wait here, for a particular Disney ride, the mean time to wait in line is 22 minutes. So on average, right, 22 minutes. Distribution follows an ex exponential pattern. Now, that kind of makes sense, right? The mean is somewhere right in here. And as the time gets longer and longer and longer, you can imagine that the probability out here is going to be much less. Probability early. Uh, um, before 22 minutes is going to be greater. All right. Um, now we have a mu. We have our x and our first probability when we want to calculate x less than or equal to 15. Now, just as before, this is all about area, right? So our curve here is going to look like this. We need to calculate 15 and the area from 0 to 15, right? Because you can't wait negative time in line. All right. We're going to do it two ways. We're going to use the formula we saw over here. This is the cumulative one right here. The only trick is going to be getting our e. And well, then we'll use the function also. Let's try uh, our formula first. So it's equals 1 minus. Now e, you use the exponent function. Now the exponent function um, is exponent calculating the exponent base e. So any number raised to itself is what? Any number raised to 1 is, is uh, itself. So uh, base e raised to the 1, that's the trick for getting e. So if I hit highlight this and hit the F9, you can see there's that magic number that ju just shows up everywhere. We've seen it once in class before. Probably seen it in finance class, too, doing continuous compounding. All right, now we need to caret. And we have to do mu or our x divided by mu and we have to do division so we have to put the exponent in parentheses now the x is going to be minus there's got to be a unitary operator a negation operator there and then you put that uh, in front of the x and then divide by our mu all right and that will get us our 0.49 so the probability of standing in line 15 or fewer minutes is 0.49. Now that's kind of the long way, right? Uh, we can use the expone.dist for exponential distribution. There's the old one, there's the new one. There's no difference in the argument. So our x is here. Our lambda, we still have to, it's going to be 1 divided by mu and then cumulative. All right, now on the upper end here, so now we're talking that. We, we want all of that. Now, to calculate it with our 
uh, formula, not the built-in function. Notice it's 1 minus. Well, we'd have to go 1 minus and then put parentheses around this. So it's really 1 minus 1 plus this. So this formula shortens to just this on the upper end. So we can go equals exponent 1 caret, and then in parentheses, negative rx divided by r mu. And so the probability on the upper end right here, that is probability of standing in line 25 minutes or greater, is that. Now our expone dot dist function, again, it's going to calculate everything from here to some upper point. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. Lambda is 1 divided by our mu, comma 1 for cumulative. Now, of course, this is going to give us everything here, so we do have to go 1 minus. And finally, what about between? Between. You can see the similarities between what we've done so far. So we're interested in standing in line between 15 and 25 minutes. So here, it's the same as before. We have the idea that cumulative goes from the smallest to whatever the biggest is. So if we had from here all the way back, and the area from here all the way back, we simply subtract the two. So equals expone dot dist. And our x is going to be the bigger one, comma lambda, 1 divided by r mu, comma 1. minus the probability for the smaller ones or particular so boop there's all smaller x comma lambda 1 divided by r mu comma 1 whoops i did this in the wrong place i was going to do our formula uh but um let's look at the meaning of this simply uh the probability of standing in line between 20 15 and 25 minutes now, we did this with two expone dot dist functions. But notice, we want the area here. I have already calculated this one, which is from there to there. And I've already calculated this one, which is from there to there. If I've already calculated those two, I can simply say 1, which is everything, minus that chunk and minus that chunk. So 1 minus that chunk and this chunk. Oops equals, the, oh, and I messed it up up there. Watch Control Z. I messed every, that up totally. All right, ready? Equals 1 minus that chunk minus that chunk. All right, the exponential distribution, useful for times. For example, time arrivals at a website or a car wash, or in our example here, waiting times in line. All right, that's it for Chapter 6. We'll see you next video for Chapter 7.